Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Friends, welcome back to my channel I received this comment from one of my viewers He said that he have an SMPS circuit Switch mode power supply That supply is not providing the required output He is taking just only one volt from the SMPS Let's see the block diagram and then we will try to discuss and locate the fault where is the problem here we have line and neutral fuse protection circuit over voltage under voltage current all protections are here then we have EMI filter after that we have a bridge rectifier here we have AC voltage and here we receive positive and negative that is DC rail and here we have bulk capacitor that is DC capacitor when we say DC capacitor that means in this portion here is alternating current the varying current but at this point we have steady state current that is DC level to pass this voltage from a transformer we need a switching circuit or an SMPS circuit so what is that we apply this positive voltage to the transformer we know the DC level don't have any polarity so we need a changing polarity current to pass the voltage to pass the magnetic field to the secondary side for that purpose we need some switching device either it is transistor either it is MOSFET either it is IGBT anything which can switch so the negative end either it is source either it is emitter whatsoever it is connected to the negative terminal drain is connected here and to convert these voltage because now if we see here from this point we have a positive and negative it is a DC source we received AC voltage we converted in DC voltage here we have DC rail as I discussed to pass this voltage in the secondary we need some fluctuating voltage some changing polarity voltage to change the polarity to make the pulses from this voltage we need some PWM source pulse width modulator, oscillator, VCO anything which can oscillate what is oscillation? it is a switching when it will give high voltage it is sometimes 5 volt, sometimes it is 10 volt, 12 volt when it will apply to the gate, to the base so it will allow to pass the current from this negative terminal in my videos I always say current flow from the negative terminal because I studied electronics engineering so in that case I will say from negative to positive in conventional current theory the current flows from positive terminal to the negative terminal in both cases the current have to flow either we are considering the positive charge or the negative charge so current will flow in this path just only there is a difference between the arrow conventional current flowing like this if I say in electronics theory so it will electrons will move in this way the same current will pass through this path and it will complete to this negative terminal to the positive terminal just only this is the theory when it will turn on what it will do it will allow to pass the current from this switching device when it will pass the current it will cause to induce magnetic field in the primary and it will create magnetic field it will cause to cut the secondary winding So the voltage 
here cause to flow the current current cause to generate the magnetic field in the transformer in the core so this magnetic field will cut the secondary side winding because it is varying magnetic field the pulse is on then it have to turn off on then it have to turn off it will change the polarity the voltage will go in the outside same time we have another winding that is called bias winding vcc winding or it is named as auxiliary winding if the pulse will operate this gate and the current will flow properly it will create magnetic field so it will cause to induce voltage if there is something wrong in this portion now this is the point why we have low output in the output side if there is something wrong if the mosfet is not turning on properly that means there is something wrong if its internal gate is not good it is not allowing to pass the current that means there is something wrong if the drive circuit is not prop working properly if this gate pulse which is reaching here if there is something wrong there are two or three components sometime there is one current limit resistor which is connected to the drive pin of the mosfet then we have sometime it is zener diode and sometime we have a gate discharge resistor that is around 20k it is 20 ohm it is 20k it is 12 volt 14 volt 18 volt protection diode so these three components it depends on the value of the gate charging discharging capacitance and it is normally 20 ohms 22 ohms what is ever if anything is not working here properly it will not allow to operate this switch properly when this switch is turned on it will provide resistance in milli ohms that means all the voltage will appear in the primary and, and it will allow to flow the current very simple it should provide resistance in milli ohms for example if it is providing 10 ohm resistance it is not turning on properly due to some problem in this circuit in these components or its material failure it is providing some resistance or maybe sometime because it is heat generating component its joints on the pcb are dry soldered so its contact resistance is increased it can also be a cause to reduction in the current flow so reduced current flow will not allow to build the magnetic field properly so the voltage will not transfer in the secondary properly first thing this problem second thing when this switch will turn on after that it have to turn off why because as i discussed we are providing dc level to the transformer so it have to switch it have to collapse and expand collapse and expand so this collapse and expand this function in the transformer needs to turn off and turn on the current we turned on using a positive going signal but to turn off this switch we need a zero level when zero level is applied that means this mosfet this transistor this igbt will turn off when it will turn off the magnetic field in the primary which was in expanded position now it have to collapse the collapsing magnetic field will cause to generate reverse emf reverse voltage to the applied to the polarity which is applied voltage if this end was positive now when the magnetic field will collapse this end will become negative this end will become positive if we don't have a snubber circuit here to discharge these voltage it will cause to create oscillation effect it can cause to damage this transistor this mosfet so for that purpose a capacitor 
a resistor and a diode why diode because it have to operate in the off period when the magnetic field will collapse due to this off period this end will become positive this end will become negative at that time this network will discharge this collapsing magnetic field due to any reason if this diode is short circuit it becomes short circuit is it is a common failure when it will short circuit what will happen this mosfet when it will switch this transistor when it will switch the current have to pass through the winding but now we have a short circuit here we know the inductive reactance is high at high frequency these smps circuits are working in kilohertz above 50 kilohertz 60 70 100 kilohertz 200 kilohertz at that time this channel this path have high resistance and this resistance is lower than this winding and if we have this blocking component why blocking component when it is turned on the current will flow to this winding and it will block the circuit at that time but if this diode is short circuit it will create an external leakage here through this resistance negative positive so the transformer will not take the required voltage required current to produce enough magnetic field to provide voltage in the output side in this condition the current will flow in this path because this channel becomes low resistance in parallel when one path have low resistance the second is high so current will pass through this low resistance path so current will select this path at that time the magnetic field will not build up properly so we we'll, we will not find the voltage in output side when the voltage are not being built up properly this ic will turn on for maximum time it will use the maximum duty cycle but it is trying to compensate the voltage because there is a feedback loop here and this ic will receive vcc voltage here from this circuit when this circuit is not creating correct magnetic field similarly here will low output here will low output so vcc voltage will not build properly our friend said he said he have just only one around 1 volt here and he have around 1 volt here in the output low voltage here low voltage here that means the ic is switching and it is switching at its maximum rate if this circuit is good magnetic field will build properly if we have something wrong in the output side some component some transistor diode short circuit in the output side at that time ic will turn on properly it will allow to provide full magnetic field and the voltage level will increase here but the internal leakage of any component diode resistor transistor capacitor that will cause to drop here but this winding will cause to increase voltage here in the vcc capacitor so ic will go in reboot mode but here in this scenario if this component is bad if this component is bad if the joints are not good if the winding have increased resistance due to bad connection in that condition the magnetic field will not build properly ic will try to switch at its maximum rate but it will not go in reboot mode why because the vcc voltage will not go in the upper threshold so in this condition in this fault the most probable chance that is this rc dc number circuit mosfet the resistance of the joints these are the most common failures in this fault first of all in this condition we have to check 
आर सी डी स्नबर दैट इज रेजिस्टेंस कैपेसिटर एंड आर डायोड दैट इज कनेक्टेड पैरल टू द ट्रांसफार्मर ट्रांसफार्मर वाइंडिंग इन द केस ऑफ फ्लाई बैक आर बूस्ट कन्वर्टर्स सो दीज कंपोनेट्स आर पैरल टू द ट्रांसफार्मर वाइंडिंग एंड दीज आर कनेक्टेड टू द ड्रेन ऑफ द मॉस्फिट and we have to resolder the joints and the problem will be finished we can check the mosfet and we can check the gate drive components so problem will be solved from these points i hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh